it's me again and this is my third video about healthy lifestyle. Uh, I've been asked uh, about more practical ways and this is uh, actually a good way to, uh, to share um, how practically to, to follow healthy lifestyle and what am I, what am I doing, uh, how am I doing it and uh, when it started. So there's a lot of ways actually. Uh, like I said in previous videos, I am a vegetarian and I don't uh, I don't eat dairy products uh, because uh, they have a lot of bad uh, impact on on your body, but also I'm simply allergic to them. Uh, so, but I eat eggs. Um, I eat eggs, so I can't call myself a uh, hundred percent uh, vegan. Uh, though sometimes I go on vegan um, vegan diet uh, periods, um, which uh, at that times I'm all the time simply eating only vegan food. Um, so I do avoid eggs as well. But um, like I was sh sharing in my uh, first video, um, I'm working out. Uh, I like um, I like lifting weights. I love my gym. Mm, I pretty much uh, go to the gym almost every day for at least 30 minutes uh, up to an hour or two depending how much time I have and how much energy I got and um, all different things. But I, I try to be active every day pretty much. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk about that uh, some maybe some other time if you would like that. Just leave a comment if you would like to know uh, what I do, uh, what I do in the gym, how it started, how to start uh, as a beginner, and uh, how to improve. What are the ways um, of exercising? I can talk about that as well. But today I'm going to talk about uh, about what I eat mm, when I'm not on any specific diet, and I'm pretty lazy when it's come when it comes to cooking when I'm. Uh, when I'm on my own, um, I don't really want to cook. Uh, I have so many things to do. I don't want to try. I don't want to waste time. Uh, this is why I always go for a simple ways or I always do um, meal preps, uh, which are lasting for um, two days, three days. So I have all um, prepared for a longer time. Um, like I said, you can vis visit my uh, Facebook um, fan page, uh, Quick Fit uh, Vegan Food, for some ideas, but you don't have to. Mm. Uh, so, for example, how my days, the, how my days are starting. My uh, first things first. Uh, I don't start the day with coffee. I don't start the day with food. I um, I start the day with uh, lukewarm or warmer than that uh, almost uh, I wouldn't say hot just warm water uh, with lemon you would say lemonade but I don't add sugar so I just call it lemon water and the more lemon you add the better uh, because it's clearing your your body uh, it's um, awaking your digestive system mm. It's basically really good for, for weight loss and for uh, cleansing. So uh, I put one, two lemons to uh, a jug of uh, filtered water or mineral water. Um, and I, uh, I, I drink a liter of it in the morning. So every morning starts with a liter of water. Um, so if, if I don't go to the gym in that morning because I have planned it uh, for the evening and I just sit down before I do anything I just drink my um, liter of water uh, at home and I don't uh, don't drink it cold it's very important to have it uh, warm uh, why mm, so when I mix the water I always add some uh, hot uh, water from the kettle so it's uh, warmer than um, than room temperature, I would say. Um, it helps the digestive system. It helps the bowel movement, and it regulates 
bowel movement and it's uh, it's just helping with all your intestines and the temperature is very important mm, because it's easier for your body to uh, to absorb and uh, why is it with lemon uh, simply you shouldn't drink just uh, plain water because um, it's not hydrating very well you can add some uh, pinch of salt uh, which which is um, which is working like uh, electrolytes you can add some honey uh, but i simply just use uh, lemon which is fine as well uh, what do i eat and when i eat i used to have breakfast uh, about 30 minutes after uh, after the uh, the water because it's important not to drink at the same time as eating and it's important to have a break between drinking such an amount which is one liter it's a lot of uh, a lot of fluid so especially after that you should have at least 30 minutes break before eating um, I used to eat breakfast but nowadays I don't really eat breakfast until about midday uh, I find it better for myself uh, i feel better that way i don't feel forced uh, because if i eat right away uh, even half an hour an hour later i feel kind of forcing myself into eating so it's not natural for me but it might work different for you uh, so i eat later what i eat mm, for protein uh, i lately i base uh, my protein on eggs because eggs are the more um, the easiest to absorb by the body uh, protein wise um, but uh, and I eat a lot of eggs there is a myth that you couldn't shouldn't eat more than seven or whatever two seven eggs a week or two weeks a day is that there is different stories about it I heard many of them and it's not uh, not true of course it depends what you um, what you mix it with what you eat with it and there's a lot of um, myths on cholesterol but uh, I'm not going to be going into details about that um, I base my protein eat intake on eggs and I eat a lot of a lot of nuts uh, peanuts uh, almonds peanuts are basically not nuts but they're legumes but uh, everybody call call them nuts so um, walnuts uh, hazelnuts um, and um, I think the most important are almonds almonds are the, the healthiest and and they're uh, absorbed uh, the best by the body uh, why almond uh, almonds nuts have a lot of uh, a lot of protein and they have a lot of fat and so don't be scared on uh, about the fat because the fat alone doesn't make you fat it's uh, obviously uh, the amount and what you um, what you mix it with but nuts are also um very high in uh, magnesium and all um, macro elements that are helping brain to function and if you if you concentrate and you eat a lot of nuts uh, daily your brain is going to function better and you're going to be more concentrated and so on so so yeah and eggs nuts uh, what else legumes uh, such as beans and uh, they have a lot of protein too uh, soy i don't really eat a lot of soy i used to eat um, tofu daily uh, but i tried to cut down on it recently mm. what else lately that's pretty much it because uh, all the other uh, products uh, that i eat which is uh, fresh vegetables i i try to eat a lot of spinach um, kale is the vitamin bomb you just uh, if you like the taste eat it with salad soups you can make chips of it in the oven you 
all kinds of things. You, you can find a lot of inspirations on YouTube or um, on other websites. Uh, but kale is uh, one of the healthiest uh, vegetables existing, pretty much. Um, and a lot of other green vegetables. Uh, uh, broccoli, broccoli as well um, as well have a lot of um, a lot of protein. Uh, it's good if you're working out, if you're trying to gain muscle. Um, so broccoli is very good. And uh, what simple simple vegetables such as uh, peppers, um, tomato, onions, whatever you like. Uh, with uh, with a little bit of um, olive oil, uh, favorite spices, make a salad out of it, mm, and and you can eat it with with your eggs, with your um, beans, with your legumes, um, and that's pretty much it. I for um, for fruit, uh, if I'm not on a low carb diet uh, at the moment. Mm, and I allow myself to eat a uh, sweeter fruit. I love bananas. Uh, they have uh, they have a lot of um, mm, a lot of potassium, a lot of other um, goodies that are helping helping uh, your body. Uh, they're also tasty and they're amazing with smoothies. Mm, so add banana to any other fl- fruit. The smoothie is going to be. Um, it, smoothie is going to be tasting smooth and I don't use milk, uh, cow milk at all for two reasons that I uh, already said but uh, I also recommend uh, avoiding um, dairy products and instead of uh, cow milk I use um, oat milk, sometimes so- soy milk, sometimes coconut milk uh, Oat is, um, oat is the tastier lately for me, but there's variety of uh, available milks uh, that you can get. And I add it to the coffee that I make. I drink about two, three coffees a day. And I add it to smoothies. Uh, I just, just love it. I drink a lot of it. If, if I eat cereal, uh, I don't eat like cereal, cereal, but uh, oatmeal. Um, with uh, with nuts and fruit, uh, I also base it on on oat milk. Um, what else? Uh, other uh, other fruit. I eat a lot of grapefruits. Grapefruits, yes, grapefruits. Um, because uh, you can't eat too much of it. They have a lot of vitamin C. They are another vitamins. And and they don't have that much of a sugar, mm, so they're very healthy. If you are trying to control your insulin um, pr- um, production, those are good. And uh, forest fruit, that as well. And um, that's pretty much it. You can eat as much of that as as you want because um, if you are concentrating more on a fresh vegetable you can overeat you just can't uh, because your body naturally is going to be fuller quicker uh, you're uh, digesting your food longer so you don't have to eat as much and whenever you feel like you want uh, you want something sweet uh, chocolate or you have cravings for that um, simply, I recommend some more uh, nuts, uh, walnuts, uh, hazelnuts, or almonds, or drink um, raw cocoa. I call it cocoa, you can call it uh, hot chocolate, but hot chocolate is uh, recognized with a sweet drink. I do not add sugar to it. Uh, I mix it again with uh, oat milk. And I don't add sugar. Sometimes I add cinnamon. Sometimes, um, sometimes other spices. Uh, sometimes even chili. Uh, chili is also helping with weight loss and is uh, helping to um, have a warmer feeling. So it's warming your body up from uh, from 
the inside. So uh, that's pretty much it uh, that I can think about. Uh, that's my regular um, day of food. The eggs can be cooked in many different ways. Sometimes uh, when I'm on a keto diet, uh, which I uh, do sometimes, uh, I I managed to make uh, eggs uh, in oh, hundreds of, of different forms, cooked, uh, fried. I'm not scared of, of frying. It's just uh, it's another myth that you should avoid frying uh, whatsoever. No, you just can't fry too much and have everything fried, but you don't have to totally avoid it. Uh, you can mix it with uh, good, um, good quality um, uh, mayonnaise and uh, mustard. It's amazing. Like if you like richer taste, awesome uh, so there's a lot of different ways to to uh, keep a healthy lifestyle uh, a lot of different ideas uh, for healthy food um, if you have any questions or suggestions or if you want to share what you do uh, how um, what you're eating um, feel free share it in the comments below and stay in touch Bye.